What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back. Speak your mind, sports talk. Check it out, man. We're going to talk about Deontay Wilder and this whole nonsense that's going on uh, with John Skipper coming out and uh, Wilder's uh, $120 million deal that he turned down for the love of sports. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So, uh, really stressed for time and, you know, have a lot of things to do inside and outside of YouTube. So, no fancy videos or intros or anything today. But I need to speak on this Wilder topic and I have a couple more coming to you guys. But simply put, uh, you know, there's a lot of different views concerning John Skipper and what he was trying to say. And personally, my opinion is this. Uh, the man is not blaming himself for everything. Uh, in my opinion, as a leader, and he is a, one of the leaders of the zone, he's taking accountability for you know, his downfalls in making this thing happen. Not saying that he's to blame for everything, but you know, as a leader, a lot of people don't understand. When there's issues and there's problems, then you don't go from the bottom up and blame everyone at the bottom what you do is you go from the top which is himself and then you go down you find out you look within yourself and find out what you could have done differently you know um and this is what john skipper is saying and this is what john skipper means you know uh his part in this whole debacle uh you know basically he's saying that you know maybe i could have done some things differently to make this deal go through, uh, build a relationship, you know, before just approaching them with the deal. So I think that that's the misconception. As far as Wilder is concerned, you know, as men, whether we're athletes or not, the fans need to understand something really specific with this. These promoters, managers or whoever, they work for the boxers. I know that there's contract signed and everything, but at the end of the day, these boxers have the final decision. He didn't have to go along with what Finkel says, Al Heyman or Floyd or whoever. He could have put his foot down and made the decision to take that $120 million. Wilder came out himself and said that I'm betting on myself. And maybe this is ideas that Finkel and Heyman and all of these other guys put in his head. But at the end of the day, Wilder was the man who decided to take that direction. And so when you look at what Skipper says, if had he built a relationship with Wilder, maybe he could have put different ideas in Wilder's head, you know, because of the relationship they built. And so as a leader, he's saying that, you know, before I go and blame everybody up under me and everybody else involved with the deal, then I take my own responsibility and the lack of what I've done. And so you can do nothing but respect John Skipper for that. But I don't believe that he's blaming himself for everything that happened or anything like that. That's just my take on it. I respect everybody else's opinion and views, but this is just how I see it. You know, and Wilder could have bet on himself all he want but uh i was talking to shout out to my man ring iq very knowledgeable brother if you guys haven't checked his channel out go subscribe to him that man is you know very informed and knowledgeable about this sport but you know i was chatting with him on his live the other night just last night actually and i said to him you know if wilder's bet was on the roulette table you guys know there's black red and green well wilder bet on yellow <laughs> it's just that simple that was a losing bet man because um no matter how you look at it the numbers are out and at this rate he could fight eight nine more fights and he's not gonna amass 100 million or 120 million dollars and that's just the facts of the matter so you know at the end of the day whether well, skipper did build a relationship or whether he different. We have to put the blame on the man who made the final decision to take or not take that contract. And in my opinion, that's Deontay Wilder. Big mistake, Wilder. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. Hey guys, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you know when I drop these videos. And hit that like on your way in or out. Peace.